last speaker for group two is Nirmal Shah. Nirmal Shah, um, his speech title is Why Yoga? Why Yoga, Nirmal Shah. you do yoga? This question may sound simple, but it's not. Yoga is something that you should do regularly. It makes you fit, it makes you strong, physically and mentally. You may feel uncomfortable at the start of doing yoga exercise, but you will feel way better once you get used to doing it. Let me tell you a personal story. When I used to wake up in the morning, I felt I had a really bad temper, but three years ago, I started doing yoga practices, and after a while, instead of having a bad temper, I felt happy. Not only that, but I felt fresh and energetic. The general public describes yoga as stretching, breathing, and exercise. But to me, yoga means one with the supreme being, or the ultimate principle. This means yoga is not just exercising and stretching, but it is connecting yourself with your inner power and God. The practice of yoga develops strength and flexibility. This is a physical side of yoga. But what is more important about yoga is that it suits you and your nerves and it also calms your mind. I suggest doing yoga in the morning. Here is why. It is the most peaceful time of the day and it sets your mood and you have all the energy you need for the day. This takes us to my suggesting yoga poses. Number one, sun salutations. Number two, crisscross in a meditative state, which I performed earlier. A headstand and sun salutations are my favorite yoga poses from my suggesting yoga poses. In the morning, the first thing at school we do is five minutes of meditation to recharge our bodies and minds. I feel great after doing this. I think you should ask your teacher in the class and do this right before your study. Also, if you are angry at school, you can simply go to the toilet, is what the British calls it, or I dare say bathroom and meditate. Trust me, it really helps. Now let me tell you the history of yoga. It started with the Indus civilization in North India over 5,000 years ago. At that time, People describe yoga as one of the as one of the old, oldest of Vedas, oldest scriptures in history, the Rig Veda. Let me tell you a pers another personal story. When I was eight years old, my mom took me to a yoga class, and the yoga teacher that I had was the same as hers. I went to one class and it was a bit strict, but I loved it. So I went on and on getting taught by the teacher in the class till I was nine. Nowadays, I do yoga at home in the morning every single day. And since then, I have always loved yoga. A timeline from 2005-2011 is when, at 2005, 2 million more people started doing yoga every day. 
And then in only six years, which is 2011, 20 million more people started doing yoga. This stunned me. 10 times more people started doing yoga in only six years. I hope I persuaded you to do yoga every single day and take classes to get better and better. I hope you change others around the world with learning yoga. Thank you.